Richmond RV convention, checking out all these sweet RVs that they got. The prices have went through the roof. I don't know what's going on, but the prices are nowhere like they were two years ago. And this uh, empty vehicle weight is uh, 8,000 pounds. Prices are ridiculous right now. I don't know what's going on. But this thing on the inside is actually really beautiful. <laughs> this is the master bedroom. Or, yeah, this is the master, what it's looking like here. I think this one is... 30 feet long, if I'm not sure. I'll check it, but I'll Is also get a... Long? No, not the, the bed, the, the trailer. Oh, that's nope. I'll show you guys what the price of this thing is in a second. So this is the price of this one. 8,000 empty weight. Yeah, 17,000 off. I mean, it's not a bad monthly payment. 15 year term, I don't know about all of that, but that price is extremely high. So this is what, what does this technically sleep? This one has a real nice shower, but if I come in here and stand around, I'm already almost at the ceiling. So it has this step down here, which is at least a foot. So if I step in there, I can't, uh, I can't take a shower. It looks like a king size bed on this particular one, which is not too bad. I'm used to a king. I got a lot of sweet trailers here, but the prices have gone up so much. I don't know if these things are 100% uh, worth it anymore. It's a nice stove, look at that. Outside grill. That's really nice. You can go camping and do some grilling outside. So this is the, the pop out on this particular one. This one's a fifth wheel. Nice storage space, batteries up underneath that way. Has two different pop-outs on this one. I guess it's a pop-out in the master. It's actually really nice. More storage on the outside. This one's much bigger, but then the price tag is also much bigger too. Listen, this is lovely, but actually this one's kind of more worth it for its price for what it is. Empty weight is 11,000 pounds, which is well within my truck, my F-350. So this is the section on top of the fifth wheel. This one has a separate living room in it. Check this out. So up here on the fifth wheel, this is, uh, this is pretty sweet. Got the fireplace with the TV right here. Check that out. Fireplace, TV, nice little living room. This one's 66,000 though. I'm 6'7", so I can't stand completely up in this one, but uh, it's still nice. I can crouch up here, come take a seat real quick, but let's walk to the rest of this uh, fifth wheel RV. I think this one's 30 feet long. Oh, yeah. Look at this shower. See, I can fit in this one. This is, this is regular living right here. Yeah, there you go. Check that out. Regular shower, regular shower head. modern camping you can I can at least take a regular shower this one has an actual ceiling fan in it that I have to reach up to touch so that's pretty awesome dining room table full-size refrigerator check that out well somewhat full-size apartment size refrigerator This one's 66000 which, I don't know, this one might be the one that's worth it. Okay, I'm coming. Oh, yeah, it's got the full kitchen outside. So when we stop the camp, we get to Yeah, we can eat. Grill of food, cook. It's a, it's a uh, griddle, too. Put the hamburgers on there. Toast your buns. Make some quesadillas. That's cool. Oh, yeah. Got a little microwave right here. Put your spices up in there. And it has a fridge on the outside, too. Yeah, this one's really nice. Oh, 
This one has the outside shower on it too. This one's smaller than the fifth wheel. This is this is a tow behind. This is a hitch, but it has a shower on the outside. This one's 8,000, 88 empty, uh, 32 feet long, $41,000. Ooh, that's a hefty price, boy. Well, so this one's pretty unique. Has a uh, bench seating, couch right here. Nice uh, queen size. Not the, the, the most open space, but it works. I mean, I, I don't sleep with my feet straight out. I kind of crouch when I sleep. I'm not 6'7 when I sleep, so it, it'll work. And this one's really cool because it has the bunk beds in the back. And I'm pretty sure that table goes down and turns into a bed and probably this one pulls out into a bed. So bathroom over there. So if you, if you were at a lake or something, all you have to do is come through this particular door versus the main door. And instead of dragging all the dirt into the, uh, the main living area, you can come right through. So that's pretty awesome. So this one's 73,000, it's a fifth wheel. And the pop-out seems bigger than the others. So let's go in here and check this one out. Oh wow, now this is gorgeous. Nice tall ceilings. Nice seating. All right, it's gotten a little quiet in here, so um, I don't know if I would do a fifth wheel or pull behind versus one with the engine, but this one is really nice on the inside. Wow. Roomy this and spacious, ain't it? This is a luxury apartment. Yeah, this is nice right here. Oh, it's got the fireplace, the TV, I don't think I the kitchen. <laughs> yeah, I'd, I'd come out here. This would be the Dad, man cave right here. <laughs> Look at this. That is a super nice but, kitchen. Juan, you see what it is? It's just, there's no sleeping room in it. Yeah, there's no sleep. There, this, this is, is like, just like singles. Like luxury comfort. Yeah, this is like singles. This doesn't really bring the whole family with you. Hey. This one is super tall. I swear it's about as tall as the box truck. This one's big, cool, awesome, amazing. It has a, uh, a lot of windows too. That's really nice. And it's long. Oh, look at that. It's got screen doors. Look. Look at that. What happens if a hurricane comes? That's amazing. It's got screen doors on it. Let's go in. Oh, the master is in the back. That is really nice. And above that, there's actually a living space above that. This thing is so tall. You see how much room is up there? So I guess when we go inside, there's some space above there to see. Full size fridge. Full size fridge. And that is sweet. But this one, like the other one, doesn't really have a whole bunch of sleeping. Nice size stove, microwave, and TV. Here goes the ones with the motors on them, or their vehicles. You can get like a 30 foot one like this, I really like them, because you can be in the back. Technically with a trailer, you can't be in the back while you're driving. So let's go take a look inside this one and see uh, the room or space that you have here. I don't have the price on it. So now this is one with the actual vehicle up front, as you can see. Now like kind of sitting in the driver's seat. So there's actually a, a bed above it, which is pretty awesome. Well, I don't know about the white leather. This is uh, asking for a problem, asking for a spill. But 
when I was saying this is the type that you can ride behind, it's got seat belts, so you actually can ride back here while said person is driving. Not with the pop outs, of course. You got to bring the pop outs in. So the floor is this one popped out? Is it popped out? Yeah, this is the pop out. Right this is here. the pop out that I'm sitting in. So yep. the floor actually will be reduced, the, the walkway will be reduced a whole bunch. But you can sit here and watch TV, uh, you know, comfortably. Let's say you were on a half country drive or whatever, you got the fridge right there, you know. Not to say you should get up and walk around, but at the same time, if you needed to get up, you're, you're back here, so it's legal for you to be back here versus the pool behind. You can't be in the back at all. Everybody has to be inside the F-250, 350, Dodge, whatever you're gonna drive. You gotta be in the uh, truck and not in the trailer by law. It has a decent size bath, uh, bed and bath back here. Pull it. Not that tall. Not that tall. I'm gonna tell you that right now. It's not that tall. And this one starts off at 160,000. So that's another thing to consider. Look at this. Nice little TV setup. You can sit out while you're camping and watch some TV. You got the sound system connected to it. So this one has the bed in the up position. You see the keys right there to drop the uh, the bed down. So when you're driving. You got a nice little deck right here, most likely with GPS. So yeah, you got your captain's chair, your navigator, deck, and here goes the uh, steering situation. And the only thing I don't like about these particular ones is this big window. So when these windows break, you're gonna pay 1500 and above to get one of these fixed while you're on the road versus if it was a F-350, you pay F-350, pickup truck prices versus this thing. This is a Ford. Oh, wow. Yeah, these are big Fords, engine-wise, but, you know, everything is kind of custom. Ford. But that glass, that glass is super expensive. Yeah, I know that thing. Okay, so this one is an even bigger boy. This is pretty much a bus. Look at this. This is beautiful on the inside. This is like a luxury apartment. It's definitely a luxury apartment. Yeah. It goes all the way back there. Not a lot of privacy unless they got doors. I think they got a pocket door right there. They got a pocket door. TV right there. Nice kitchen areas. Covered. Uh, Full-size microwave. Where's the refrigerator at? Oh, on the right side of you. There it goes. Full-size refrigerator. Not quite full, but... I mean, yeah, I guess yeah, a smaller one. But nice you know seating. What? This this decor is like just this. beautiful. That thing is super Why small, dude. Oh, wow, yeah. Hello, this is nice Where's the shower? Super, huh? Where's the shower? Where is the shower? Oh, in the back. Oh, this is the first head. So it's got like a little the second thing. head is back it's here. A half bath. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's one and a half bath back here. Can they see me when I drop my pants? Uh, <laughs> it has two bathrooms? It has two bathrooms. Yeah, this is the view all the way up to the front. You can make it in there as long as you keep your head in that uh, in that little nook right there, yo. Yeah. Look at the shower head. That's a nice shower head. I'm surprised it doesn't have that whole... Oh, it's got a bench in here and everything. I just got to hop in and sit down first thing. Yeah, that's all you can be able to do. <laughs> I don't even think you can fit your knees are going to hit the... Yeah, but maybe I'll just have to take a shower with it open. Hopefully the floor is waterproof. Yeah. Oh, like... This so this one is uh, 360000 it is beautiful, but, you know, a little bit more than my house. Yeah, this one's actually pretty nice at 360000 I don't know if it's that nice, but this is a full bus. This is almost like a charter bus size. Uh, and they got some outside that we're going to look at, too. But this is charter bus size. But as far as just standing in it, I mean, I'm, I'm standing fully up. I got a little bit, little bit of room to the top. This thing is quite beautiful. I love the, the color pattern, but the only thing is, going camping there's not a lot of kids uh, actually you wouldn't go camping with this this is i'm going out of town and i'm not staying in a hotel i'm gonna just stay in my mobile hotel that's what this is oh i didn't even see it there's another tv right here so there's a tv right there and a tv right there that's you're sitting back watching or sitting back riding watch tv right there in front of the driver just drivers right there just hope he doesn't want to look up and watch TV too. There goes another one. This one has the fireplace right here. Look at that. How do you do that? 
It's got the 360 cameras, GPS. It's got a smaller TV up here. Um, and then a TV right there. Seating right here. Recliners. Nice kitchen. Full size refrigerator. Looks like my fridge at the house. With, with a nice maker. <laughs> oh wow, look at this interface. Okay. So this is the type that I actually like. These things are severely overpriced right now, but usually I like the ones that's got an Econoline uh, 350 van body. So if you were looking to do some of that van life, this is it right here. This is a, a Mercedes Benz type uh, Sprinter van. It's not the biggest, but Let's say you wanted to eliminate your rent or something like that. This might do it for you. I don't know if the price will do it for you. You're probably better off building your own because this thing, I get it. This is the Mercedes-Benz Touch and, you know, don't get me wrong. It's beautiful on the inside, but I don't know if this is worth it for $124,000. Yeah, you heard that right, $124,000. Got some nice ports and everything. Onshore power, city fill. Um, it's just a regular Sprinter van, but for the price, I don't even know about that. It doesn't even have off-road tires on it. For 124,000, you can build your own for about 20,000 with the price of the van. Y'all know me, I'm a do-it-yourselfer, so that's the way I roll. Here's the back, literally the back of another one. This isn't tall like the one that uh, has the extra height that I could stand in. I mean, I can get inside this one, but I'd be crouching. I guess if you're under six feet, you're all right, but it has nice storage. These things are just too luxurious for the uh, on-the-go camper like these. You gotta uh, strip them down and make them a hell of a lot cheaper for people to really gravitate to them. really nice in here but I have a feeling it's too nice for what it is or at least the price suggests that I'll show you the price in a second but just wanted to give you guys a look at what this is got the microwave and the stove toilet back there I mean it's a full-size camper it even has a nice set of roll-up doors or a screen kind of keep you quiet and it's really discreet I get that but let's look at this price that is the show price yeah, almost the price of my house. And I can park it in the living room. Look at this bad boy right here. That's a that's a F550. This one doesn't have the lights on, so I can't check on the inside. But look at this one. This is an international right here. Look at that. Probably got air brakes and everything. They're not that big, but... Look at the storage. Queen bed. No way there could be secrets. Bed on the top. Seat belts. We got the toy hauler over here. Now that's a bad boy right there. I know this one's every bit of two hundred thousand. Let's see the price. Oh no, actually, <laughs> it's only a hundred and five thousand. It's got it's got the garage, so that's like a garage section in there. Yeah, put your uh, your equipment in here. Hey man, these things are nice. You know what I you know what I king size bed with the master. Well, thank you for tuning in. As I look at these RVs that I can't afford, but if you got that big box truck money and you're thinking about coming to get one of these bad boys, come on down here to the Richmond RV convention to get you a nice RV. They got some decent prices, but a lot of them are completely overpriced. But uh, thank you for tuning in, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.